Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily. In this video, I'll be covering how to create, update, and delete table of contents. Okay, so today we're going to talk about table of contents. And here is an example of a table of contents. And what it is, is it's a list at the beginning of your document that shows all the headings of a certain level and their page numbers in your document. And it really helps organize your document to make sections easier to find. So to easily make a table of contents in Word, you should use styles while creating your document. Word uses the different style heading levels to determine where in your table of contents each heading will appear. So I recommend you use Word's built-in heading styles because they will automatically coordinate with Word's table of content feature. So let's talk about how you create a table of contents. So first you're going to want to create your document and you're going to use headings from the style section as needed. So you see here we used a heading 1 category, here we used a heading 2 category, we have some text, we have another heading 1 and another heading 2. And it just keeps going on. So once you have your document created, you're going to put your cursor where you want your table of contents to be placed. Now we're ready to add your table of contents. So you're going to come up to the References tab, you're going to come over to the Table of Contents button, and you can select one of the presets. So the first one that you see is Automatic Table 1. And if you click this, it will place a default table of contents in your document, and its heading will be Contents. Your other option is Automatic Table 2. Now if you select this, again it will place the default table of contents in your document, but this time the title will be Table of Contents. And your last option is Manual Table. And when you select Manual Table, this will create a table of contents uh, using placeholders. So you're actually able to enter whatever text you want in each of these placeholders. But if you choose the Manual option, None of this information is being automatically taken from your document, so it's all text that you're manually entering. Uh, but you'll still get the look of the table of contents with this option. So you can just type in etc, etc, and you can just keep filling this out as you need to. Now if you go in and need to change things to your document, it's not going to automatically update in your table of contents. So say we change this title it's not going to automatically appear in your table of contents. But you can go through and update your table of contents on your own. So to do this, you're going to select your table of contents, come over to the Update Table button, and you'll have two choices. You can either update page numbers only, or you can update the entire table. The update entire table takes a little bit longer, but if your document isn't very long, uh, you really won't notice that difference. So we're going to update entire table, click OK, and you'll see that it makes those updates. Now you can also easily delete table of contents. So if you decide that you don't want this table of contents, just select it, click this button, and come down to the remove table of contents. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 20 Table of Contents. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.